Okay guys, now we can talk about compositing and uh, in compositing I prefer to use the mouse and not the tablet for using uh, in uh, compositing uh, setting because I, I prefer like the button is. We can listen in some uh, button is clicked but it's not take care about that. However, for compositing I use Fusion because Fusion is free and I think you can use it also for learning the compositing basic, but uh, it's the same uh, if uh, you want working on uh, Nuke. There is this one version for Nuke, it's uh, for educational, you can use that, it's not uh, a problem. Maybe also I can show you with the Nuke in the next time. I, I don't know how, if I use it or not. However, here I want to show you how to compose in your effects. And here, little introduction on Fusion. We have here the bar with the file, tools, etc. Here the, the some basic tools here you can have for working, for example, the load, the save, background, the text, and etc. Also the blur, the merge node, but it's not important now. And that is important is the layout for switch from the layout for user. And here we have the flow where I can put your uh, elements and here are some tools. Now we can come back on divided to, okay. And here are the tools with your setting for use and timeline here. Now we can uh, load the, my element and I can press with L LD here or with the control and space in floor, you can use loads. And you can write and you can load your element. For example, I can come back on my, uh, where I save my sequence. My sequence, I have a two sequence here, one with the square and one with uh, the ball. It's a few difference you can see here. And also I can copy, Control C, Control V. And here you can say here version two, I want version one. Open, okay. And with the control and scroll wheel, you can, or you can say here fit or control F. I remember, yeah, I remember well for fit your element. Also with that here background, you can see the black and black and uh, why use the black sometimes and sometimes not use the black. Sometimes use the black is good because you can see your effects like the snow in this case, it's, uh, it's okay. And in another case, maybe it's not more good because uh, for, for example, in the smoke, you don't have, uh, uh, you can see your element, your transparency, it's uh, very well or not with the the black maybe with the black the smoke it's perfect it's, it's very cool you say hey my render is cool but when you composting with the different color to black maybe you see the more insert so it's very bad to use the black in some case in some time so for that sometimes it's good to use the the transparency with the grid and sometimes maybe it's good also here you can see on timeline here, this is the snow, and I don't see my sequence here. However, it's okay for this. I want to use that, for example. I want to remember that if I come back in uh, my Udini, you can find here in my snowfall, I change a little bit the system. Okay, I can stop it. Because here I add my here I add my sphere instance, and I add the sphere instance from here, and I change also the the sides. Because uh, why I do that? Because uh, in my if I come back on uh, Fusion, and I load for example the another sequence the number three for example that you see it's more big square and sometimes it's not very good to see that on my element okay you can also 
say that so also you see here when I talk about the timeline here the timeline is uh, to zero so you can see that so you can say play it's not more in real time but you see here the square sometimes is not good the square here and I can uh, for example that yeah I want to load the second version yeah it's more teeny okay you see here it's more teeny layer so you can see here maybe it's not maybe also we can change our gamma 2.2 .2. Yeah, he's here. He's more teeny, but he's working. He's working better respect uh, have, uh, for example, the big. This is the second view and this is the first view. Yeah. You can see here. You can miss, you can choose if you want more, more teeny or big teeny. You can uh, choose what you, you want. Here in this case, maybe it's too, too small, but it's working, trust me. And this is uh, why it's working. Uh, okay, now I want to show you with the first version. We can start with the layer one. Open. And we can load again, layer 2, and load again, layer 3. You can see here, we have a lot of snow, okay, is that. That is uh, the background layer one, and I can merge this with uh, the layer two. When I use the merge node here, I have also, I can show the tile pictures. You can have here the foreground and background. The foreground is the green, and background is the yellow. You can also switch that. For example, you can come back here, you can want uh, this is layer two. Okay, layer two is stay in foreground and layer one is stay in a background. You can just use that. Okay, this changed my shortcut. I don't know why, but in this version with Ctrl W, you, you can't switch your element here. However, here now we have the snowfall. You can see there is a lot. And here we can also merge this node here. Also the same here, this is the background, this is the foreground, and now we have also the foreground, have also that in, a, in your element here, okay? And this is very comfortable when you're working, you can see now what's happening. This is not in real time, but it's working well. And this is the first kind of compositing you can use that. You can also apply, for example, the color correction, and with color correction, if you also press the shift and you can move it near, you can, for example, apply here and you can assign the difference color. You see uh, a color, difference color to this layer. Okay. And this is very comfortable for show, for use. It's not, uh, uh, it's good. Okay. For us, you can also delay this, for example, for don't use that. And you can have this situation now okay also and this is one way for create compositing also you can use the save node you can choose where you save and you can save that uh, you can just use here and you can assign that and here you can set in how your output but it's not my final goal. My, my goal also is to show you how to use the 3D layer. 
You can uh, use the 3D layer inside uh, Fusion and this is very comfortable because uh, sometimes when you're working maybe you want to change uh, the, the size of your element or position or you want to create uh, some good effects also for mixing uh, also with the, another sequence. And here we can use here, we can use the 3D camera. We can have the 3D camera here, camera 3D. We can have here camera 3D. And you can see here is create for you the 3D camera. Okay, I don't love more the orbit and how it's navigate inside uh, Fusion because it's it's a few strange respect. Uh, for example, for orbit, you can just press the right mouse button and shift for scroll up and down with the wheel and with the control and, sc and scroll, you can have the zoom in, zoom out and with uh, press the, the middle mouse button on the wheel, you can have the pan. And this is, uh, I don't love it more because uh, I think it's a few complicated. This is my camera, I can open this camera. I can also use, uh, if I can put here, I can also say, hey, here, it's my camera 3D view. This is my view of from camera. And this is up, for example, okay. I want to put here my layer here. I need to use the image plane 3D and automatically it's connected because I have a select is connected my merge node and this here you can also put that here. So we can use the merge node. You can see here you can have your image plane and you can show why frame oh, why is you can show show type picture and here okay maybe it's that maybe it's not to see more you can show with the this layer maybe if you show more yeah because it's more teeny that is working well in the render but not more in the in the camera okay however here i have this image plane i can copy ctrl c ctrl v and also i can delete this here and i want also merge this here i can merge a lot of can also connect this to C control V can delete this and I want to merge this here and I want to connect for example I want to connect this is my layer free yeah it's my free layer I want to connect that here okay and now you can also like, select that you can move it Maybe it's not more see that. Maybe also that. I create that here. Yeah. And I can move it up. And also this, I can move it. Select and move it up. Here I see my camera. In my camera, I see my 3D layer. And this is, you can also here, if you want, you can change the sides. For example, you can apply the transform. There is transform 3D. 3D transform, if you want. You can connect here and you can also change the scale if you want more big for example, and this is very comfortable. Also, you can here, we have the 3D camera. In my 3D camera here, maybe I can control visible near, no, plane focus. This is for create my depth of field, angle view. We have more C 
system here, but more comfortable now when you create your system, you can also create the background. Background. And you can create, you need to create your render 3D. You can connect that here because in this way you say this is my render, it's my render is 3D and I want to merge this with my background. And now you see here I have my 3D plane here, maybe it's a little confusion now because okay that I want. This is my camera and this is my element, maybe you can also change the position if you want or you can see if uh, I select this mm. okay maybe I can switch to the perspective yeah I see here I select this you can select you can move it you can also apply the transform Okay. Okay. And that maybe we can say it's more big. And also that maybe I can move at that in background, mod background, and I can scale it. In this way you can create, you can, uh, you see you have the 3D space and you can create the different kind of system. Also if you, if you have for example one geometry, for example from the tools 3D Alembic Band Camera Cube 3D, okay. I can connect this here and now I have the cube here. And here now I have my element, my 3D element. And here, for example, this plane is not, it's behind my element here. This is very comfortable because maybe you can create the different effects using the 3D layer. But is uh, the layer, this is uh, only the 2D image, 2D render. You can use this way for create your uh, compositing, or you can use the classic way here with the merge nodes and after you can save that. This is two way you can use it uh, for create compositing.